home sweet home, or so they thought. It keeps me up at night. I can't sleep. This month, Tyler Jones, fiance Jasmine, and little Kennedy were abruptly told to leave their duplex of four years. She uh, came up and said, uh, I'm giving you guys three days to be out. It followed an incident at the Coach House Apartments leasing office in South Kansas City. Jones says he'd gone in to ask a property manager about a late fee. She pushed me out the door and she kept pushing me and I said, hey, you don't have to put your hands on me. Management, he says, claimed he'd gotten angry. However, I never made any threatening gestures, uh, never disrespected anyone. But there was a police report and an email told them to move out, saying in court an unlawful detainer would be filed, a kind of eviction proceeding. They're not here because they care about the community. Let's just be honest, right? They're here as an investment strategy. She's talking about Landmark Realty, the California company which our investigation found bought the Coach House Apartments earlier this year. But they're not new to town. They're definitely, I would say, one of the top five slumlords on our radar. Casey Tenants is protesting ongoing eviction proceedings. Organizers say landlords are using unlawful detainer filings to get around the federal eviction moratorium. We counted more than 40 so far in Jackson County this month. And Casey Tenant says they've noticed a spike since the CDC rule in September. One of the biggest things that I've been worried about in the weeks since then has been that landlords would actually start to find other ways to evict their tenants besides for the rent. I just really think it's unfair. Tyler um, is a Kansas City firefighter you know. protecting the very neighborhood where he lives and says they want to stay. We really like this neighborhood. You know, I, I work right down the street. Uh, daycare is close. She feels safe. My family feels safe. 